Well, welcome back to Wood Spun Round. This is Doug. It's, I'm glad to have you with me in the shop today. Uh, what we've got here on the lathe is a nice uh, bird's mouth, uh, natural edge. I believe this is pear. Uh, this was a, a short log that was in uh, a fire uh, firewood pile and uh, turned it last weekend. Uh, here it is uh, Saturday. This was turned last Sunday, I believe. Yes, last Sunday. So it's been uh, right at a week now. Uh, the bark is on firm. There's no issue with the bark at all. Um, I was going to uh, finish it up uh, earlier in the week and I got the feeling on it and I realized there's a, a lump on the outside right here. What you can see right there and on the other side as well, this is the pith of the log, the center of the log that had begun to uh, actually had begun to rot. Uh, on this side, it was gone. Um, well gone and so it, it fell out as I was turning it this side here is still there it's still solid um, but on, on the outside because of the drying that has taken place there's a, a little bit of a lump there then on the inside here uh, the inside is not nice and smooth either and I realized as well that I've got a nice uh, thickness here but then it, uh, starting well right there is there's a little lump um, but then it gets thicker as it goes down to the bottom and I can see that not just feel it But I can see it in this knot that has fallen out. It is uh, a little over a quarter of an inch there um, Probably five sixteenths or or even just a touch more than that. So uh, uh, Anyway, I, I'm going to skim this outside just to smooth this off I'm going to work on the inside just a couple of passes really uh, just to clean that up and to smooth it out, get a, uh, as close to a nice thickness all the way down. I'm not don't want to go any deeper, uh, but I do want to take some off the sides. So let's get ourselves together and and see if we can get that done. All right, bowl gouge is sharpened, freshly sharpened. The lathe is set at uh, 1,000 RPMs. Uh, let's see what we can do about cleaning this up. I have already not only mounted it, but also double check, make sure I am clear of my tool rest. Let's make a, a pass or two on the outside, then we're going to see what we need to do on the inside. at the horizon on the other side of the piece watching for what I've done and what I haven't done not in a big race I don't need to take a whole bunch at one time See, getting nice little fine shavings off of off of the tool. Two reasons for that: one, I'm, I'm real sharp, but also um, you notice I had the angle down low. I am cutting with this this edge right here, and so uh, it wasn't much. Uh, it was a very fine, thin cut that I was making. All right, you know what? I think. A little hard to tell because it needs sanding now. I'll make one pass. Um, or am I? Maybe just a little more of this light scraping cut and then we're going to call it good.
All right, on the outside, we're in great shape. Now, I've got some waviness right here, and then as I get into the bowl itself, I can feel it get real thick, right? Just above that knot, which is exactly right when I feel inside and outside, it starts getting thick. So I need to take, I don't know, uh, an eighth or maybe just a little less from, from just above this knot all the way down to this bottom corner. Um, there are still some ridges in the bottom. I can take those out. But like I said, I really don't want to go any deeper. I'm as deep as I want to go. Get right at the top of that knot. So, if I turn my tool rest, I'm going to get it in, down into that into here as far as I can. In fact, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to turn my headstock. I've seen me do this before. I have to loosen the locking mechanism. Undo the second locking mechanism. Then I tighten it back up again. Cinch it in. Get my tool rest as in here as I can. I, I can't get it this style of tool rest does not is not the best for them rubbing. Not the best for this type of turning. I may need to go in fact I think I will change out my tool rest completely. This is actually the tool rest that came with this lathe. Um, it's a good tool rest. I just I needed it for my big. I've got a big bowl lathe. It's a it's a dedicated bowl lathe. It's all it does. I really need a different tool rest than this even. There we go. That's getting pretty good. Now I need to check. Do, 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 do. Okay, I think I'm okay. Um, actually, I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to move you just to the other side of the lathe. Uh, you're on the same side with me right now, but I'm going to move you to the other side so that you can see in uh, to see what I'm doing. All right, here we are. We're back in business. I think we're in great shape. We'll know better as we get started. see where I am what did that do that'll give me a lot of information about where I, what I need to do okay need to start just above where I started the last time started right at the dark spot here I need to start just a little higher
felt pretty good. I noticed something. I still have my wedding band on. Um, I, I like to take that off when I'm turning. It's the only time I take it off. What well, feels much better? Still a lump right there that I've not gotten yet. But the rest of this whole thing feels really, really good. So all I gotta do is find that. I can mark it. Take a pencil and and it's about where I've been trying to start my cut. So I haven't gone quite high enough to get rid of that. Okay. Now I can take that out without any problem. I know exactly where it is. Got to hit the on button to get on. Again, a shearing cut. This was a bowl, I would feel it while it was still running, but it's not a bowl. Well, it is a bowl, but it's not a, a, a straight edge bowl, straight rim bowl. This bird's mouth will bite me. Don't ask me how I know that. Still got just a little bit. Fruit. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's so much better than what it was. All right, I'm gonna work on cleaning up the bot very bottom of this now. Actually, I'm gonna change tools. I'm gonna go to a bottom feeder. bouncing out for some reason something I'm hitting I think I know what's going on but let's just stop and find out yeah there's a second little ridge here so I've got two ridges the one I just created and there's one I'd left before the way to take care of that I think is going to be with a well not that tool there it is my round nose scraper, I don't like to use the scraper. I think that'll get me. If I can lower my tool rest just a touch, but I don't know that I can. Okay, I'm clear. We're going to try this.
that tool down for just a minute. I'm gonna go to my carbide round finisher because it's got a little smaller radius. may have been able to see that that little line in there that ledge maybe maybe not whether you could or you couldn't it was there and I have removed it uh, still a little bit of a line from where I originally turned that bottom so let's see if I can clean that up another pass or two with the round carbide and then we'll go back to the scraper Like I said, I really don't want to make this any deeper than what it is. All I'm doing is cleaning up the bottom. definitely feel this this whole piece is, has moved since last last Sunday even the base that was relatively thick it had has moved you know what I'm going to sand this and call it good um, there's still a look there's a reason I don't like to use my carbide and don't like to use my hanging on that tool um, don't like to use any kind of scraping tools because it tends to leave tear out and I've got a little bit of tear out down here at the bottom so I'm going to attempt to make one final pass with my bottom feeder in hopes that I get most of that out Try to lower my tool rest just a touch. It's a little bit high for this gouge. That's better. I'm clear all the way around. Virtually no pressure on the tool, allowing the tool to do the work. Basically taking off the dust. All it's taken off.
there's that center. Oh my. There it is again. All right, let's check. I think we're done as far as turning. We're gonna have some sanding and finishing to do. Yep, yep, that's where I was, the point I was trying to get to. So you have now seen it. It's, uh, it was fun to turn, but that's gonna be fun to be done. That's where we're gonna stop for today on this video. I, I just wanted to show this process to you that uh, you can turn one close to finish and then let it sit for a week or so. Come back a little later and finish it up. Uh, we've, we've gotten the lumps and the bumps out of the outside, um, at least the major ones. There's one small one right here at the edge that I knew was there. Uh, I knew it was there last week. Uh, this side is not, it's, it's got one too, but it's not as bad. That's part of one of the issues with these, uh, this, type of, of uh, natural edge turning, this bird's mouth type turning, uh, it is hard on this outside particular to get a nice smooth uh, curve there. I'm going to do a little more sanding on that uh, than I did before, um, but then I've got the inside so much better than it was. Now, I crossed the line. Um, I crossed 3,000 subscribers here on YouTube and I appreciate you guys uh, every last one of you all 300 subscribers I appreciate every one of you um, and for the next 300 um, uh, you know I'm already appreciating them even though they're not part of us yet but uh, this bowl is going to be a giveaway what I'm going to do for you folks who watch this video uh, today is the 26th 27th today's the 27th I believe it is uh, July the 1st, I'm going to come back and look down through the comments and I'm going to pull out everybody who makes a comment who says bird's mouth bowl, bird's mouth bowl. Everybody who puts that in their comment, I'm going to take all of those and have a random drawing uh, for this bowl and I will send it to you. So uh, the night uh, down late in the evening of, of July the 1st or maybe sometime on July the 2nd, you take a look, uh, see if maybe I drew your name, and you'll need to get back in touch with me uh, pretty quickly. Send me your, send me a, a message with your email, and uh, uh, or or uh, or even your address. Send me a message with your address so that I can get this to you. So I'm going to check back on the. We'll do the drawing on the first. I'm going to check back on the second uh, to see who has if if somebody has responded to me. Uh, let's make a cutoff of uh, the third. Saturday the third will be the cutoff. And so, uh, thank you. This is just a, a token of my appreciation of you folks who have subscribed and stayed with me uh, since really, uh, I guess we started uh, mid to late December. And we're up to 300, uh, some 4,500 uh, views so far. I'm super appreciative of all those views. But you guys who have who have subscribed and stayed with me, I just really appreciate it. Thanks for being with me today as we did this short video. Uh, part of why I wanted to do it was to announce this drawing. So, uh, like I said, make your comments, Bird's Mouth Bowl, in the comments. We'll put all those names in a hat and draw the name um, on the first, and then on Saturday the third, we'll draw. We'll uh, check and see who is put that in there that only gives three days I'm not gonna give a long time a um, lot of reasons for that but I appreciate you being with me thanks for being here with me today as we were in the shop of wood spun round this is Doug and I hope you're able to spin them around